Well, plus it was good at what he did in terms of his technical skills as well. So it's very kind of you. Yeah. Well, that's really, really nice. Well, well, for Baden and Frankie, you two had so much responsibility other than just writer-director. You were both co-producers, and I and you were the editor. Um, did that make the process easier and faster? That's okay. Probably. Ooh, it, I, th um, I think so in the earlier stages. In the early stages, it really sped things up yeah. because it meant that we didn't have to go through a chain of command necessarily. We were the chain of command and if what we said... We were the command and the command. <laughs> <laughs> and it just worked really well and it, 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 it cut down, it shortcut a lot of the process for us. It meant that we could quickly and easily make the decision about say money or preparation or time or um, whatever it might be. You know, the problem was presented to us, we got to make the decision and if both of us weren't around, some would make an executive decision and it would happen. So I definitely sped up the process during the shoot. During the edit as well, I, I knew the material so intimately. I was so engaged with the shoot. I knew, you know, what scenes we had shot and what shots I was preferring and Dwan, our continuity guy, and Gavin, our wonderful DOP, spent a lot of time with me working out, you know, what shots were the, were the real gems and then when I'd look back at it and really look at the acting and really look at the motivations of the characters, what was working and what wasn't working, that was a such a a treat to be editing that stuff as well because I knew it so intimately. But as it, as it went on, we got too close and we needed a fresh set of eyes. So it was great to surround myself with other people that would come into the edit suite. Michael was in the edit suite just as much as I was um, and, and offering so many good ideas. So that collaboration continued throughout the edit, um, but we really needed a fresh set of eyes. And towards the end, we got some and it helped just ref refine the film because I was getting too close. But, you know, just getting back to the product, the being producers, um, you know, one of the key tasks of, of producers is to get a team around us because obviously, you know, although we did those things, we didn't do everything. You know, we had an unbelievable team of um, uh, professionals, prof Ted Williams, and then non-professionals, uh, Amanda Safranco, and many others, many yeah. others that, that we can't name. Every time, you know, we do an interview, but so many of our team um, gave of themselves and gave their time so freely and so willingly and their passion is seen on the screen. The product that we have, we probably couldn't have made the product that we have if we had had a million dollars. When you've got people working with you who aren't getting paid what they're entitled to, they're doing it for another reason. It's not just the money, you know? <laughs> and um, that I think that really shows through. The fact that we actually finished filming it for oh. starters is just a testament to an amazing group of people. Yeah. I don't think we'll... I don't think would ever, we I don't would ever we if I kept, if I made films now until I died, yeah. I would never ever work with a, a group of people that we were priv privileged enough to work with. Yeah. yeah, would you like to give a brief summary of what exactly the story is and the themes that you are dealing with in this story? I think some of the themes are hope, forgiveness, love, uh, belonging, belonging, finding a sense of belonging. Reality, I, th I think our tagline probably says it the best. It's essentially to say, um, with our imagination, we make the world. So that, for me, sums up a lot about all of the characters and about a lot of the themes that we discuss in the film. Plus there's, you know, themes like aged care and, and, and care, the, care, the role of the carer in a home. And do we have to wrap up? Yeah, we've got 10 minutes. All right, cool. We'll be about another five minutes. Before the security yeah. kick okay. us out. No worries. Okay. Oh, yeah, Thank I'm you. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> we'll just cut that out. But yeah, I like that. But um, it seems like I've read interviews with Henry Shep, who is wonderful as Rodney, and I was reading an interview with you, and it seems like the one thing that everyone responds to when they read the script is Rodney. And as you described, he's a guy who invents this world of make-believe to cope with um, his life as his mother's full-time carer. Um, as visionary and as an artist, is that something that you can relate to on a personal level? Because you I think it is. I think it is. I think without, being without knowing how to be a director and without having a, a handbook that tells me how to make a feature film, you have to create. You have to create the space, the people, the environment around you to be able to... You have to push the boundaries. You have to push the edge of your universe and expand it to a place where you have no preconceived ideas about where this might lead you, only in the hope that you might one day be able to create what you want to create. So I think, you know, it's not about 
performing a magic trick, but in a way I, I performed this miracle by somehow finding Michael, by somehow lasting with Michael and, and a friendship and a, a working relationship for that many years and keeping that going, and then for Michael to bring so much of the project, including people, money, resources, time, a wonderful script, a sense of you know comedy, um, you know to to be able to do that. So I think I think I can relate to the character of Rodney. And Rodney is such a beautiful character, and the embodiment of that character by Henry Zepps is phenomenal. It's such a challenging role for him. It's like you've never seen him before. I really want people to see this film for Henry, Maria for Sean, for Bree, for all of our cast, for all of our crew, and just see what's possible when you do use your imagination and free yourself from the, the limitations and the imprisonment of you know society sometimes. Yeah. Uh, well, everyone is loving this movie, but you there has been an overwhelming response by people who work in aged care centres and community caregivers. When did you notice this? Um, uh, after uh, first opening night and subsequent Test screenings, sub subsequent uh, screenings, yeah, people who worked in the industry, either as professionals or as volunteers, just approached us and and no um, way, no no way very... I, I think one of the things that they talked about was that um, they saw the human side of caring, you know, because they're dealing on the one hand with the bureaucracies, red tapes, regulations and rules, how you're meant to do it. And then in the film, you're seeing how people in everyday family situations are actually having to go through those paces, you know. And often going through those paces doesn't actually involve having a rule book with you <laughs> or, or the rules and regulations, you know. And sometimes you've got to just kind of push them to the side and, and, and do what has to be done and laugh about it. Otherwise, it just gets too much. Yeah. Yeah, well. I want to express to you my gratitude for taking the time to sit here and talk to me. Um, Thank um, you for having us. You're welcome. I understand that, that because the movie is called Frankie, that when you, want to, you, when you take a bath, you have to smell good, and you have to smell good while you're traveling and promoting the film. Especially so here, to express it has my, to smell good. Okay. So to express my thank you, I want to give you to this, which I'm sure will be very helpful. Wow. Thank you so much. Can we open that? Yeah. 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 Something to bathe with. Shower gel. I like it. Dove for like men. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you better have it. Yeah. Yeah. I need that to yeah. keep my skin looking fresh. Yeah. Oh, you do but look like, you. like a dove. Thank you so much. Body I wash. am a dove. Yeah. Oxy. Thank you. That is awesome. Thank you so much for yeah. having You can use it on your skin. Yeah, yeah you bet. <laughs> you wait the shower tonight. Okay. It's, it's going to be almost, it's gonna be awesome. it's gonna be almost yeah. enjoyable sitting in a car with you for the next eight hours. You'll yeah. want to smell like a million dollars when you win the Best Director Award. Thank you. We could do with a million bucks for this movie. Yeah, that would pay off some great debt. And Best and Best Screenwriter. That's right. That's well, right. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much, Michael. Thanks, I'm glad man. you could do this. Yeah, thanks. Thank a lot. you so much. Yeah. That's awesome.